I disagree. I don't think it's ever going to happen. I've been doing a series of uh, studies on the book of Daniel, studying it harder than I ever have in my whole life, and I've read it I don't know how many times. One of the things that came up and hit me, as I reread it here several times lately, was the drive of the prophet to find out how long. It seems that's an obsession. As soon as Daniel began to get prophecies that prophesied events in the history of the world from his day to the return of Jesus, it seems that that sparked a deeper desire and a bigger determination to say, Lord, how long? How long? How long? How long? How long? He says it over and over again. He even says that the angels say it. When the angels are talking and he overhears them in chapter 8, he hears one angel say, how long? And then later at the end of the book, how long? How long? How long? And finally, it's the Lord. Not an angel. Finally, it's the Lord. It said, and I'm going to translate it here in a very loose translation. It's going to be a McPherson's translation, okay? <laughs> finally, the Lord tells Daniel, Daniel, it's none of your business. <laughs> it says in the original, just so you don't get too nervous, go your way, Daniel. In other words, take care of your business, Daniel live day by day but I have those things in my hand the delay hasn't weakened our faith has it or has it when we see the challenges that we are being faced with in every aspect of human existence it should strengthen our resolve shouldn't it it should help us determine to reorder our priorities to help us determine what we want to do with our time and our talents and our resources. Because it's going to come, and it's going to come soon. Just like Grandpa said to me, <clears throat> there's a dump truck coming. He said, it's very quiet. It was no big deal. He got a little more insistent. And after a while, he said, and I'm going to rearrange his statement. Jerusalem is coming. <laughs> How's that? Can you say amen this morning? Amen. God grant to us a place in his eternal kingdom. In Jesus' name. Amen.